Okay, I'm good to work, everyone. Thank you for waiting. Uh, as we welcome in Stephen Holtzman, Mo Kushner, Saba, Mel Zachter, Yisrael Fisher, Dr. Block, Robert Kranz, uh, Bruce Eisenberg. Bruce, we had the pleasure of having Bruce this morning by Chakras here, and by Mincha Mav and Charles Shudas, and it's great to have you now, Bruce. Philippe Irving Fishbaum, Fischl Brooks, it's great to have you, Fischl. A warm welcome. Uh, ben Cien Cohn, Hardy Appetite, A.B. Spry, Nachman Chapler, Aronson Pletzel, Shelley Zeitlin, Aaron Swade, Moshe Lehman, uh, Abe Arbach, Chaim Braun, Ilya Schutman, Yitzi Muller, uh, Abba Steinhauser, and uh, we uh, welcome in David Helfgott on Kololoshin. Uh, we are holding uh, at the top of uh, Yud Tess Amad Aleph, the very top line, sponsored by Baruch Ion and family, Le'ili Nishmas. What did I do with my papers? I brought up the wrong Gemara. So we are sponsored by Baruch Ion and family, by Mark Frankel and family. We're sponsored by uh, Aaron Swade. Aaron, I don't have the names. You could give me the names. Aaron. Uh, we are sponsored by uh, 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 Beirich Goldwasser with thank. Aaron, just give. Rabbi? Yeah. Afraid of Sarah. Afraid of Sarah. Uh, it's afraid of Shaul and Hannah Bas Shmuel. Hannah Bas Shmuel. Shmuel and Freda. Bas Shaul. Freda Bashol, Hanan Bashmol, Freda Bashol, by Ber Goldwasser. Uh, of course, I'll tell you for what Hashem did for his family and for the Chayle Adaf, Shim and Deer, for the Chayle Adaf and Chayle Yisrael. We learn also uh, tonight for Elazar ben Asher Zelig, Nisham Shadav and Aliyah, Yochevet Bashimon. Also, we learn uh, with the Tefillah for my Shver, Victor Ayeh ben Rivka, and Mordechai ben Yehuda Sara. Should have a refuel shalem and besek shachar le Yisrael. We are holding, as I said, on the top of Daf Yud Tes Amud Aleph. If you remember, we said a case that the uh, 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 if a girl was sold as a omavria as a slave, she could be sold even though she's a widow to a kain gadol. And we had a question: How should how could it be that she could be a widow? And still be sold. So the Gemara says, uh, the Gemara says, Ulrav Nach by Yitzhak, the Amar Afilu Rab Yaisi Rabbi Huda, that even according to Rabbi Yaisi Rabbi Huda, we're going to discuss later. Moyes Arishinus, the initial money that was given for the sale, Likidushin Nitnu, and therefore uh, it is considered like she was already given over to marriage uh, and we had a klal then ain't shifchas achar nisuin that you cannot uh, uh, sell her for a slave after she's married b'may mukim law, how could you ever have that an almana could be sold again since she was already in uh, uh, arranged in issues, you're not allowed to sell her after marriage. Says the Gemara, Mukam Lakar Abelazer, we will say it's going according to Abelazer, the Amal is Shifchas Acha Shifchas who delay Matsi Mizman Law. You can't sell her once she was sold as a slave, you can't sell her again, but Aval is Shifchas Acha Ishes, but if she was uh, given over in marriage, uh, then you're allowed to sell her. And therefore, she could be an almana where she was given over in marriage, and then afterwards being sold as a shifka, you could sell her even to a kind gadol. And even though the kind gadol won't be able to be miyayed her because he's not allowed to marry an almana, but since kedushin would be typhus because it's only a lav, so you're allowed to sell her to a kind gadol. Boy, Reish now the Gemara asks a new question. Remember we said that we have an option 
that the Odon could marry her, the master could marry her, this Jewish slave girl, or he could give her over to his son in Yiyud. Question is, what about if his son is a minor? Do we say, uh, that you could give it over to any son, any kind of son, even a minor, the son has to be similar to him, Mahu Gadol, just like the Odon is an adult, you can only give it over to your adult son. So Amr Abzeir Gemara tries to bring a Raya, Tajma Ish, when it talks about uh, the death sentence of adultery, Ish, a man that commits adultery, Prat Lakotan, that excludes a minor. Asher Yinaf es Eishis Ish, who has adultery with the wife of a man, prat la ishes cotton. That excludes the wife of a minor. Now, how do you have a wife of a minor? If you'll say that there is yield with a minor, so there, there at least you have a case of a wife and a minor. Excuse me. Prat la ishes cotton. So the Gemara says that excludes the wife of a minor because there can't be a wife of a minor. Says the Gemara, but if you could be miyayed, uh, the Amr of Ria to a, your minor son, then there is a wife of a minor. Vi Amrit miyayed imke matzinu ishus lekatan. There is a wife to a minor, so why wouldn't there be adultery? So the Gemara says to the contrary. Why do you even need a miut? There can't be a wife of a minor. Why does it have to say Eishas Ish? Vel amai ain't a miyayit. Amai come amayit lay crow. Why do we need a pasuk to exclude it? So to the contrary, tiv shut me na de miyayit. That there is such a thing as the wife of a minor. If a slave woman, girl is given over uh, to the minor's son. But it's telling you that it, there's no adultery. Says the Gemara, it's no proof. There is another Heichi Timtza. There is another case where there could be a, a wife of a minor. What happened was Ruvain was married to Sarah. Sarah died. Excuse me, Ruvain was married to Sarah and Ruvain died childless. Sarah fell to the brother Shimon who was nine years old in one day. So his beer is a beer. And it's talking about... Uh, B'yavim ben Tesha Shonim v'yayim echad, where Shimon is nine years old and one day, Habal Yavim Te'askinan, who sleeps to fulfill the mitzvah of Yibam with Sarah, Demarai Sechazile, because it's a good beer. So now I might think if somebody sleeps with Sarah, they get capital punishment for Ashes Ish. Mao de Seva Kevin, Demarai Sechazile, will be also beer. I might think that they have adultery, Kamash Malan, because it says Ashes Ish, Vale Ashes Cut. My Avi Allah. So the question, the Gemara says, tell us the bottom line. Can you be Miyaye to your minor son, son or not? Tajma, Amar of Iva, Yamar of Yana, ain't Yud Ella Begadal. There's only Yud by an adult. Ain't yid alamadas, and since a minor son doesn't have das, there's no yid. So the Gemara says, Tarte, why do you have to say two? That's the same thing, that there's no yid by a gadol, there's no yid only madas. Says the Gemara, it's not telling us two redundant things, it's telling us the reason. Ma tam karma, what's the reason why there's no yid by a gadol? Ma tam ain't yid alamadas, the fish ain't yid alamadas, there's only yid with his das. The Iba is saying it's telling us a second halacha, that when you do yield, you have to get the consent of the slave girl. That's the way Rashi learns. My midas, midas dida. That, you know, it's nice that the Odin wants to perform yield or the child, but they need the das of the girl. The Tani Abai Braid Rabbi Avo, Asher Lo Ya Ada. If, if you don't fulfill the mitzvah, then Vehefta, she should be redeemed. But it, since it uses the term Ya'oda, 
What does it say Yada? It should say Ashaloi Nasa. What's Yada? Malamit should Tzarech Yada. You have to inform her. Says the Gemara, Hu Tani Lav, Hu Amala. Bikidusha Yid. It means that when he's Mikadisha with Yid and says, with the money, uh, with the remainder of the time that you have left to work with me, I'm Mikadish you. The original money is not for Kedushin. And when he's Mekadoshah, he's not Mekadoshah with the original money of the purchase, but rather he's Mekadoshah by waiving the rest of her servitude. Even if you say that first money is also for Kedushin, still you have to inform her because the Torah uses a lotion of Yid. Now, what's this reference of Rabbi Yaisi Rabbi Yehuda? My Rabbi Yaisi Rabbi Yehuda, we want to welcome in uh, Harrison Kletzel, Sandy Grunfeld, uh, and to tell you if you're just joining us, so many people have uh, joined us, uh, if you're just joining us, we're uh, two lines above the wide lines towards the bottom of Dafyud Tesam and Al, just getting underway. I'll be honest with you, I want to tell you that, you know, I announced this year 10.05 and I was late. The reason why I was late is because I was reviewing the DAF one more time. And it just took me a little longer. I don't want to come on without finishing reviewing the DAF one more time. Uh, you know, it says that when you do something good for people, you should let them know uh, in my career as a maggot shear, you know, over now more than four decades, I cannot never come to a shear without proper preparation. And uh, uh, the, so uh, I, that's what I was doing. But anyway, um, my Rabbi Yaisi Rabbi Huda, what is this uh, reference to Rabbi Yaisi Rabbi Huda? The Tanya Yada Vehefta. So he learns an interesting thing. If you want to do Yid and exercise the right of taking her, there has to be left at least one pruta of work before the end of her six years. Because the only time Yada Vehefta, you should be able to have time to redeem her. Now, the logic over here is, is that he holds that the Kedushin is by waiving the rest of her servitude. So then there has to be at least left a Shava Pruta servitude, because otherwise he's not giving her anything. The Tanya Yod of Ehefta Tzorach Shehoiz B'yoyim Kedei Pediyah. There has to be enough time yet in the last day of the six years that she could be redeemed for a Shava Pruta. So therefore, you're taking her and you're waiving the rest of that work. Now that means that he holds that you need to have new money of Kedushin, and it's not that the money that he purchased her with initially gave him the right to do Yid. If there's enough time in the day for her to do uh, Shava Pruta work, Mekudoshes. Vim Lav ain't a Mekudoshes. Alma Kesav, that implies that he's Mekadosh by waiving the rest of our servitude, not with the money that he initially paid for. Alma Kesav, the initial money that he paid for, it's not given as an option for Kedushin. Rav Yitzchak says, I don't want to jump to conclusions. Even if the original money was given for Kedushin, but it's exactly the cost if the pasuk says Shani Ochad Amar Achman Asher Lo Ya Oda Vehefta that in order to do Yid there has to be enough time left to redeem her for a pruta. Now the Gemara is going to draw an inference from this. Amar Rav Amar Rav Nachman Omer Adon Lebitay Ktana a person could say to his minor daughter. Remember, a father has the right to give her over to Kedushin. He could tell her, Go and accept your Kedushin. 
Why? Because over here, here we have this minor slave girl, and she's accepting from the Adain Kedushin by waving her servitude. So she, as a minor, is accepting it. The original money was not for Kedushin that he paid the father. But if there's a, 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 a pruta left of our servitude, have a kedusha. It's kedusha. So she's accepting it. She's accepting it. She's accepting that she's giving herself over uh, in lieu of the waving of her work. Now, the father agreed to it because the father sold it to her this in mind, but we see that the child could accept it. Now, the Gemara takes an even further inference. If you're Mekadish a person by saying the Lashon of Abayi and Afav that I should be Mekadish to you with the Hano, with the benefit that you don't have to pay me the loan and even though uh, he, he's holding collateral and he doesn't give her yet back the collateral Mikudashis. why? from Rabbi Yaisi Rabbi Yehuda because Lav Amr Rabbi Yaisi Rabbi Yehuda Moise Rishonis Lav Le Kedushin the Moise Rishonis were not given for Kedushin so therefore, how is he Mekadish? By waiving the rest of our servitude, which is a loan that she owes to him. Hai halvahi. And her body is the mashkin. He gufa mashkini. And she herself is a mashkin. And yet, v'chim ashaya shava pruta. If there's left a, a shava pruta of servitude, o miyayid, and he's miyayid her, by waiving that loan of work, have a kedushin. Hachanami here also leishna. Uh, we welcome, one welcome in Abarba Chaim Bruan. Uh, point out that we are now holding two lines from the top of Daf Yud Tesam at Bay, just getting underway on a beautiful Matzah Shabbos, as we are heading to now Shabbos Slichas. And as we're heading to Shabbos Slichas, and it's heating up. The fact that it's the last month of the year. Elul is an opportunity as the last month of the year because we know hakol hoyleich acharach sain. In Yiddishkeit, everything goes according to the finale. And therefore, we want to make the finale good, so we learn, having in mind, to learn Torah Lishma, to be mekayim the mitzvah of b'dibar tabam, lasis nachas ruach liyotzreinu. Tan Rabbana, Ketad Mitzvah's Yud. How do we go about the Mitzvah of Yud? Amala Bifnei Shnayim. He tells her, the Odin, the Master tells her in front of two Adim, Hariat Mikudeshesli, you are Mikudeshes to me, Hariat Mikudeshesli, you are engaged to me. Afilu Besayv Sheish. Even if it's the end of the six years, Afilu Samach Lishkiya Sachama. Here he holds that even if it's right next to Shkia, so there isn't a pruta's work left. Now he has to treat her like a wife, and not like a servant. Rabbi Yisrael Yudas says, obviously the Rabbanon hold that you don't need to have a remaining Shava pruta of service because he's Makadish her with the original money of purchase, which gave him a license to take her as a wife. If there's a time enough that she could still do a Shava Prut of work, and therefore he's Mekadesha by waving that Shava Prut of Mekadeshes. Now, Masha Laimer Isha, this could be compared, Laimer Isha, Chatzkel says to Sarah, his scatchily may achshav l'achar shloishim yoyim. Be kedeshes to me from now after thirty days. Oba achar, and then Marshall comes be kitcha b'sach shloishim yoyim, and he's mekadesh during the thirty days. 
Shemikudeshes Lurishin. Marshall is up the creek without a paddle. He doesn't get her. Because since he said from now, uh, he, she was already Mekudeshes to the first one. So here too, the Gemara wants to compare that this Amma of Ria was already Mekudeshes from the beginning of her servitude. So somebody, Marshall, can't come and whisk her away in the middle. Marshall Amman. Elaim Marshall or Rabbi Yisrael Rabbi Yehuda. It can't be. According to Rabbi Yisrael Rabbi Yehuda, she's first Mekudeshes now by waving the remaining servitude. So then if Marshall came before, he could whisk her away. If there's enough time for her to do work of a pruta mikdashes, be him love light, and if not, not. So that means that the condition first takes place now. So if Marshall came in beforehand, he would be able to whisk her away. According to Rabbanon, that said the Kedushin is the original purchase price. Says the Gemara, well, Pshita. Says the Gemara, Mao, the same, uh, in that case, he never said when he purchased her, she should be engaged from now. And yet we say that we rule it as if it's from now. So I might say where he says, I'm a Kaddish, you after 30 days, you don't have to say from now either. Kamash Malan, that no, there, if you want it to be retroactive, you have to say from now, I'm a Kaddish, you from now, after 30 days. Now, as we welcome in Gedalia Engel, who uh, is joining us, he was away for Shabbos, he's in Baltimore, uh, so uh, it's it's great to have you. Wow, Gedalia, you're driving. Whoa. Uh, have a safe drive. Now, and we welcome in, one second, we welcome in Kenny. Welcome, Kenny. Yes, Robert Do we ever say if, if the most is, makes the suing or not? Do we ever answer that? No. Shiloh? No. So from here, it seems like, I mean, it seems like... No, from here it seems like nothing. Because it's still a question of whether it's retroactive or not. Tanidach. We learned in Abraisa. Hamoicher es bita. Now we're going to say just the opposite. Because that's the kind of guy that Marshall is. Sometimes he's just the opposite. So let's see it inside. Tanidach. But don't worry, Marshall slept in the afternoon, so he's ready for everything. Tanidach, Hamoicher es bitoi. If let's say uh, Sorrow was sold, Vaholach vikitcha laacha. Sorrow was sold to Chatzkel, but uh, Marshall was paying more money, so he went ahead and he was mekadeshar at while he sold her. He was Mekadishar to Marshall. Sichat Ba'odan, that's a mockery of the master, or Mekadishat Lashani. And she's Mekadishat to uh, Marshall. Diver Rabbi Rabbi Huda. This is the opinion of Rabbi Yisab Rabbi Huda, which fits in very good. Because according to Rabbi Yisab Rabbi Huda, if Chatzka would marry her, he's only marrying her by uh, waving the rest of the servitude. So until he didn't do that, She's up for grabs. So Marshall got in there first. The Chachamim, I mean, the Chacham say nothing doing. Because since Chatzko paid for the right to marry her, Imratza Liyada, Miyayad, if he wants to take that right, then Marshall is out. Now, Marshall, Laimer Leisha, this can be compared to a man that said to a wife, Hariyat Makadesh, Laachar Shloishim Yayim. A man said to a woman, you should be Mekadesh's after 30 days. He did not say Me'achshav. So here, Uba'achar v'kitcha b'sayich sholishim yayim, and Marshall came and tried to whisk her away. Shemekadesh's l'shemi, Marshall gets her. Because the man said after 30 days, and Marshall came in before 30 days. So Marshall gets her first. 
So Moshe Lamat, who is this to be compared to? Obviously, it's not compared to the Rabbana. Moshe Lamat, Eli Miller Rabbana, and the Rabbana say that the, the original purchase price is like saying from now. If the Odin wants to exercise his right, then he gets it, and Marshall doesn't, because he, he was from the beginning of the purchase price. It's compared to Rabbi Yisra Rabbi Yehuda. Rabbi Yisra Rabbi Yehuda says that only marries her with waiving the rest of the servitude, so anything done before that, Marshall could whisk her away. Also, if he says after Shlai uh, Shemyayim, he has the right. So the Gemara says, Pshita, that's obvious. Maybe in the case of the Odoin, Marshall could whisk her away because until the Odoin said you should be engaged uh, with the waving of the rest of the servitude, he didn't say anything. But here where the husband said, I want to marry, where the man said, I want to marry you after 30 days, maybe Marshall can't come in, even if Me'achshav was not said. Kamash Malan, that Marshall can, as long as Me'achshav wasn't said, Marshall gets there before 30 days, even on the 29th day, then the, the guy that said after 30 days is up the creek without a paddle. Now, Tanya Idach. Uh, no, th- th- this is something which uh, <laughs> Marshall says, sells his daughter but he stipulates no marrying her you could buy her and work her for six years as a cleaning lady but you're not marrying her so Rameya says Marshall has a right to make such a stipulation the Chachamim, I mean, the Chacham say, what are you talking about? The Torah says you buy an Amavriya, you get to be Miyayida. Imratzel, the Yayid, Miyayid, a fig on Marshall. If he wants to exercise the right of Yid, because Marshall had the, the, the temerity to stipulate against what is written in the Torah. And whoever stipulates against what is written in the Torah, we don't pay attention. Says Gemara, and Rameya doesn't agree with that? Ul Rameya, Tanoi Kayim, Vatanya, this was another case with Marshall. Hoi Malish, Ari Abn Kadesh, Sli Almanash, Ain Lokalai, Sherik Suswaina. Marshall says, I'm marrying you, but I'm not responsible to give you food, clothing, or marital relations. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Harizem Kudeshis, Ramea says he's married to her, but a Tanoi Batal. She has all the claims. The Ramea, Rabbi Yudam, Rabbi Yudam says, by matters of money, meaning the clothing and the food, Tanoi Kain. He learns out from that, that with matters of food, you could be master. But the bottom line is, Ramea says you can't be master. So why over here does Ramea hold that, that Marshall could stipulate? That the Odin can't marry her. Very good kasha. The Pasik says, Kiyim Karena La Ama, which Ramea learns that sometimes a person could sell her just to be a maid, just to be a servant, not for marriage. Now the Rabban don't hold to that. So Rabban and Hai La Ama May of Delay, what do they do with? that you could sell her to a mamzer. You could sell her to a nosen. I, the mamzer, the nosen, can't marry her. If the father could accept Kedushin to be Mekadoshah to a mamzer, surely you should be able to sell her to a parcel. Says, well, Malakatna Makacha Lipsulam Shake not Makadish's Bita Kishi Nara. He could be Makadish's daughter even when she's a Nara, even when she's twelve years and one day. Yim Karana Lipsulam Shay not the Maikra's Bita Kishi Nara. He can't sell her once she's twelve. Once she's twelve, she goes out with puberty. Tamalaima la ama Malame Shemaikha Lipsulam. Yet you could sell her sometimes to a possible. 
even though it's only for an Amma, even though it's not for marriage. Rebbe Leezer, Rebbe Leezer says, that's not what La'amah comes to teach us. Im lalamed shemoicher lepsulim arikfar nemar, im ro'a be'ene adoneha, if it's evil in the eyes of the master to be miyayera, what does it mean im ro'a? Because she's forbidden. She ro'a b'nisueha, it's forbidden. Right? <coughs> Even though there's tfisas kedushin, it's a mamza, which is only a lav, so we already know that you could sell her to a puzzle. That you could sell it to an ama. You could even sell it to a relative. Now with a relative, which is an isikaris, say sell it to her brother, it's an isikaris, so there is no tfisas kedush. And I might think you can't sell her. Says, go That's why it says la'ama. Sometimes you could sell it just for a servant. If you could sell it to a puzzle, which is disgraceful to a mamzer, lo yim kareno lekrayvim to a brother, which is not disgraceful. Ma la meichul apsulim shem ratzel liyayin miyayin. In the case where he sells it to a mamzer, if you want to do yid, yid could be done because there is kedushin tovsin. It's aser, but there is kedushin with a, a lav. Yim kareno lekrayvim. Should you be able to sell it to a karev? If the brother wants to marry her, because there's no kedushin with an iser karis. You're allowed to sell her even to a karis. Rameir, Rameir, who says that we learn out from the ama that you could sell her just for a servant, and Marshall could get away with being masna and telling the other, and I'm selling it to you uh, on the condition that you can't exercise the right of yud because it says the ama. Lipsulin to sell to a mamzer nafkale meicha de nafkale the rebel yezer from imloy ro im rob ene adonah meaning that you 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 can't you can't you uh, you uh, you can't take one who, that you could you could buy a servant even though it's ro it's evil to take her because it's a, a love. And him, he holds that Savalak Rabbanan, the Yitaki can't sell her to a car. Savalak Rabbanan, that you can't sell her to a car. Boy, I, I went a lot into Dafchaf. We have to change the channel here.